How do, everyone? I trust this video finds you well. Uh, nice to talk to you all again. It's another Thursday, uh, so I'm solo, all on the my lonesome. Uh, but we know I'm quite capable of getting myself into mischief without anybody else's help. That's the way it is. So I've made it to Retford, uh, North Nottinghamshire town. Um, done it before, most of it before anyway, not all of it, but there are going to be a few new ones along the way today, but it should be a good day. At the moment, the rain's holding off. Famous last words, as we know. Uh, looking forward to today, I've got 17 pubs on my list, but said that could change, you know, if I find new stuff or if stuff's not, not open. Uh, all could go to pot, but looking forward to a good day. We want to get a good video for Retford. It's a nice enough little town, all easily walkable. I've come on the train, so uh, it's been about 10 minutes walk from the train station to my first port. The Sun Inn pub and kitchen. These guys have a sister pub, uh, also called The Sun Inn, I believe, in Everton, little village of Everton, not the football club, um, which I have done before, but somehow this one didn't get done before. So this is a new one on me, nice way to start the call off. So stop number one of the day is The Sun Inn. Let's have a day of it. So I'm right, so The Sun Inn at Everton is the sister pub, same name, that's what got me confused. I wonder how I've done it, but I haven't. It's beautiful though, uh, very much like the one at Everton. It is gorgeous inside, I suppose but they do still have a lovely bar area. So that's what it looks like inside, it's beautiful, isn't it? So, decent stuff on the bar as well. I've just been treated to this local pheasantry brewery. Um, as you can see, just give me a little sample of that. It's absolutely gorgeous, that. 4.8%, tropical fruity, pale ale, lovely. Black sheep we know well. And some other bits and pieces on as well. I've gone for Atlantic Pale in here because I do like to start off with something simple. But as you can see, staff are friendly. It's a lovely place, and uh, yeah, this and the one in Everton, both highly recommended, well worth going to. Food looks great, it's not expensive, top notch, really good place for this to start. The guys are working there, it's also worth putting this uh, this little beauty out. So, look at this for a little garden space, and a garden bar, getting ready for uh, getting ready for the uh, the summer months that are coming. I'm told they're coming, love it. Really good pub, really great place to start. Two minute walk then towards the, the main town centre, and come to my second new pub of the pub call. This didn't, get, this didn't come to this part, Alberto's Bar and a Bistro. So this is my second stop of the day. Very impressed so far. Uh, I'm not far from the town now. It really isn't gonna be a mega walk all around. So even the furthest point, is probably only sort of 15 minutes on foot from here. So yeah, should be a nice, easy walk around. Nice, easy way to show you a route round. Let's go and see what Alberto's has got to offer. So, uh, Redford's premier sports bar, this is. Uh, and if you look around, plenty of screens and things to find. And you can see, they've got some decent bits. On the I love these old Thatcher's Trio Towers. Good bits on. Bateman's, a session IPA. I could, go, I could be on them. But I like this. This is the landlord. Hello there. Hello. He's a, he's a nice man. And I've just seen some photos of the uh, of the breakfast that they're doing here. And they look seriously impressive. There's one called a belly buster. I probably wouldn't get through it, but most of you see you'd absolutely love it. Three sausages, three ash browns, bacon. It's, it's, it looks the nuts. It's seriously, come down and try the breakfast. Try some food. But no, love any little pub with a pool table. Can't say better than that, can you? Two down and a dartboard and a dart. I was going to say the dartboard. Carrying on today, loving it so far. Well, super friendly people uh, they are in Alberto's. Glad I, glad I caught that. So you hear bar and bistro and you think restaurant -y type place, but that's a sports bar. It's a proper sports bar. Lovely people. Very happy to have done it. So two new ones ticked off for today already. Uh, brings me around the corner, a minute around the corner, to what was one of my favourite pubs last time kind of Redford. It's done before. Brew Shed. Craft beer. An artisan kitchen, and it is a lovely, lovely place with some great beer choices last time. So let's hope they've got some good beer choices on for me today. Start number three, Brewsheds, I tell you. Lovely beer selection. So Harrison's beers are the ones they make themselves. So you've got plenty of choices of the Harrison's ones. I've gone for this Coconut Shy PA that we'll try together in a minute. But some really good choices. Lovely little place, this is. Top little place with plenty of things. Dog friendly as well, a lovely doggy. Lovely little place. Let's, uh, let's try this Coconut Shy PA. Smells good. Oh, that is good. Oh yeah, that is good. Yeah, Harrison's beer is obviously brewed in-house here. Harrison's Brewery it is with the brew shed. Tom Nuts, we've also got a little downstairs part uh, for the extra seating and stuff. But yeah, just as good as I remember it. Great little place. Still a big fan of uh, Brew Shed. Uh, I like the, I like the brewery. The, the beer that I had was very, very nice. And they brew all of that on site so it doesn't have far to travel before it sits right in front of you, which is always good. Uh, these journeys at the moment, they're, uh, they're my kind of journeys as well. Uh, I've walked for 
45 seconds to a minute, if that, uh, before you come to my fourth stop of the day, which is the Idle Valley Tap. Again, one I've done before, uh, remember liking it. Don't remember an awful lot more about it, but it was probably jump by then. Habit of the job. Idle Valley Tap number four. Friendly place again, uh, and there are eight tamples. It's a bit busy around the bar area, so I'll show you in a second, but it's, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try and get in people's way, but it's eight tamples, all from guest, uh, guest places. Osset Brewery have got one on there. Their town brewery have got uh, one coming out of the, uh, the, the taps, which is lovely to see because I love them. They're Congleton based, uh, wonderful brewery. Yeah, it's uh, you see, you see, there, you see there, just in in here, yeah, eight handfuls now. They've got a pool table down the other end of the bar. For anyway, it's only half past three in the afternoon as well, and a decent mix of people in drinking, decent age range. It's good that we'll have this. Oh, there you have it. Grab some space, I'll come and show you. Look good. And uh, right behind uh, Idle Valley Tap is Rooms at the Inn, which is a uh, winner. A channel full of four in a bed. I can't them very often, so obviously uh, join onto the back of the Idle Valley Tap. I knew nothing about that. If you want to book a room there, rooms at the inn at gmail.com. And there's a number on there as well. Bit one four in a bed. Can't be too shabby, can it? Right, this one is a bit of a shame because uh, this would have been a new one on me today. In front, as you can see, the ship in. Um, but they messaged on the Facebook page uh, after I tagged them into the to the route saying they don't open Thursdays. Their Facebook page said they did. Um, it's one of the reasons why I, I picked Redford on the Thursdays. I'm like, you know, I'll uh, manage to get around pretty much everything today. Um, and just walking up, and there's a, there's a board on the outside with opening days and times as well on the outside of the building. Thursday 11 to 11. <sighs> Madness to me. So I don't understand or know what the story is behind why they don't and that open, but they're the opening hours that it says on the outside. And they're definitely wrong. Because they're not open. So that's that. That brings me just around the corner then to what will now be my fifth stop of the day. Happens at four o'clock. I'm about five minutes early, but there's no point in trying to go anywhere else first or do anything. So this stop number five of my day, the white line. Wait for them to open. So, last time I was here, it didn't really give the best impression. It felt a little bit disorganised this time. But the minute I walked in today, it feels a lot cleaner, a lot tidier, a lot nicer. So the lad on the bar is really friendly. It's a nice welcome. Couple of pool tables in here, plenty of screens to watch, free jukebox on a Thursday, and some really good drinks offered. And other bits and pieces as well. It's a big spacious pub. It's a local's pub, isn't it? It feels like a local's pub. It's treated like a local's pub. But I like it, actually. I do. Massive great garden space at the back as well which is brilliant for, for the summer. So the summer, summer is almost upon us and that garden is, is a cracking garden for summer. It's in a decent place in town. Dartboard and stuff in the back as well. It's a decent boozer. It's, a, it's, it's an old school locals pub. Nothing wrong with that. Right, five minute walk. So not too bad. So the old police station, it used to be a pub, but it's, it's still a hotel. Um, doesn't have a functioning bar anymore at all. I think I knew it before I got here, so did stick my head in, but no, not a, not a functioning bar. So there's no point in me showing it here because you wouldn't do it on a pub crawl. So up into the main market square now. Lovely big market square this in Redford. Great space. And my next port of call, Rondo Lounge. One of the lounge brands. So we know exactly what we're getting. Funky lampshades, garish paintings, things like that. Rondo is stop six. Lads love holding it, so you know exactly what you get. The lampshades and stuff right there, the paintings, sound and stuff. Uh, it, was a, it was a pub years ago before, they, uh, before the lounge band took it over about two years ago. Uh, no idea what it was called, to be honest, but it definitely was a pub, I'm told. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a lounge brand. Uh, £3.10 for half a Brixton Pale. It's not cheap. The food always smells and looks good in these, but yeah, as chains go, I don't dislike them. They are alright. I've changed my route around ever so slightly. Uh, two reasons. One, there's a member of staff at Beer Run the Clock apparently follows the patient and starts till half six and wants to meet me. <sighs> I don't know, why the hell do you want to meet me? It's such an anti climax I guarantee you. Never say you want to meet me, because I'm really not that interested. Um, so I've got two hours to kill sort of in this area, so I might do the Weber Spoons and the Turtle and stuff first, but the people who run Cuckoo Cafe, uh, just down the road, opposite, well, same side of the road as where the Weber Spoons is, uh, right next door to the, I think it's the Liberal Club that we did last time we were here. Um, they follow the page, they're always coming out. So I thought, oh, no, let's sit in a video. Lovely, lovely looking little cafe, they always put good meals and stuff up that I can see, so we're gonna go and say hi. This is the, uh, this is the Cuckoo Cafe. Ah, oh, Gemma that runs that, she's absolutely lovely. Does a uh, does a bang in like mega mixed grill in there for 15 quid and I've just had a look at one. My god. Like honestly, Rave's better Sunday dinners one. I've seen people online saying how good they are. So, seriously go and check the cuckoo cafe out for some for some for some munch. 
in Retford. I don't think you're going to be disappointed. And if you are, stand on me because I certainly, if I had time today, I would be able to take eat in there. I saw some meals come out, they look great. Looks a lovely little place. Just around the corner from there, so I can get these two done. On the side of the road I'm on, here's the spoons. But we'll do that in a minute. We'll go over the road first. We've got the Turks Heads. Look what a beautiful building that is. So stop number seven on my pub tour of the day. It's gonna be Turks Heads. Just our pubs, it's, it's, it says lounge and, and public size, but it's not, it's all sort of one bar. We'll put some, we'll several handful options on. Uh, it says people saying that. But yeah, lovely old school feeling. Look at the, the beans and things like that as well. Love a good old school pub, you know that. Guinness is good too. I like it. This is the, the sort of stuff of the lounge bar. See, look at the windows. Beautiful, whatever, not And yeah, nice, nice looking old pub. I love old pubs like this, I really do. It's just, a, it's just a nice aesthetic all the way through. Feels like a nice pub, landlady's friendly. Nice place. I made it to I'm sat at a bar with lovely people in there run this. Nikki's the landlady. Here's a wave. Yeah, Nikki doesn't really do social media, but she's doing social media with me now. She's loving it. She's loving it. Lovely, I said, lovely old pub this is. Lovely old pub. Hi, Tina. Tina works here. So lovely people, but we've got some handfuls on. Look, which we like. We always like to, to actually show. If I want to do a little video as well, if I get a chance to then sit at the bar and show you even more, I'll show you even more, don't I? And you get, I'm spoiling you. But it is over there. Look at the wood in here. So this would have been where it would have split years ago into lounge, lounge and public size. All open plan. Lovely pub. I want weather spoons next. It's like a roller coaster, my pub crawl, isn't it? Oh well. I ended up with a little bit of extra in the Turk's Head video because I was uh, I did my video obviously and I sat I talked to you and then I overheard them talking about me saying, oh, I wonder when that guy's coming from the pub crawl. I went, me, it's me, I'm here. Uh, so I, obviously I went and then sat so I could uh, talk to you on the bar. But yeah, it's so weird to me that people are uh, literally on edge sometimes, but they didn't notice me. So I got me drinking, I was sat in the corner, they didn't notice me. Oh well. Nikki that runs that, lovely lady, all the people in there, salt of the earth people, lovely place. I do like it, I really like the Turk's Head. Next one then, let's go and see what the carpet's like in here, shall we? The Domini Cross, Domini? Domini. The Domini Cross is what I'm going to call it anyway. So where are spoons up next? It's a modern building, uh, purpose-built spoons I would imagine, uh, not that long ago either, um, in comparison to some of the spoons buildings anyway. Carpet's a bit swirly, you can see it can't even in the corner, but let's have a proper look. So, um, that's going to make your eyes go funny after a few beers, isn't it? Um, got Jaipur on uh, on tap in here. I didn't know that Spoons did Jaipur. I don't think I've seen it before in any Spoons I've been in. Maybe it's a new addition. So I've gone for a Jaipur, it's nice. Um, hadn't had a Jaipur before, hadn't heard good things about it and I like it. But yeah, big modern, modern looking building. Reminds me, reminds me of the Spoons in Ashby de la Zouche, um, but better service than the one in Ashby de la Zouche. Yeah, it's one of the Spoons, isn't it? What more is there to say? Spoons is Spoons, isn't it? It's not a bad one. I love the fact that the toilet's a ground floor. Oh, spoiled. I went for two wheeze while I was in Weatherspoons. Two! Can you imagine how long it would take to go for two wheeze in a normal Weatherspoons? It'd be dark already. But that one, ground floor, man. <sighs> Can't knock that, can I? Right, this is another new one on Maiden. So, kind of, uh, it said four minutes on Google Maps. It doesn't take four minutes. Google Maps is never right. Two minutes, walk down the road, across the, bring you the packet in. Um, now I hear packet. And the skeptic in me, here's a, uh, yeah, you know what type of packet I'm thinking of. So it wouldn't be my first choice name for a pub. But I'm not gonna let that bear any relevance on what I think of the pub. Never been in it before. Looks all right. Uh, yeah, been shouted at. According to the sign, Whitbread 17, looks like it's been there since the, uh, the 18th century, maybe. So it's just on a, on a railway bridge. A little railway just there. Grove Mill Snooker, dead opposite. And yeah, I've come out of the town just up there. So not something long to get to. Uh, and pack it in, it's my ninth stop of the day. That's friendly locals, but these are down and things. Um, Camden Stout on. Lovely Camden Stout, mate. With ashes on. Camden Stout. First time I've seen a Camden Stout all day. Um, and I'm a big fan, as you know. Dog friendly in it. Nice friendly bus. Dartboard and stuff down there. TVs, big garden at the back. Proper, proper local spoozer. Dead friendly, though. Mm. That's good, with the exception of Brennan's, that's my favourite style. Okay, so time to get serious, and on the wind down, we're going to be going back towards town. So I walk all the way around the outskirt to go to my furthest point now uh, on the on the crawl today, which is the brick and tile, which is just here, up here by Morrison's garage at the end of this road. Two or three down this road back. 
got one more sort of road to detour down. And I'm back in the centre where I can do beer around the clock. Uh, ye old sun and the vine and stuff all in the centre. So this is going to be stop number 10, the brick and tile. Yeah, doing all right. It's, um, it's still light. I'm having a good day. Everything they said, even my furthest walk has been like 10 minutes now. That's because I've gone round the outskirts. So dead easy to walk around all the pubs in Redford and have a decent day. Brick and tile up next one. Lovely friendly local start lovers. Um, three wheel hours on. Heavy on the pale and blonde as well. They're the ones there, the choice that the, the local is having. Have a choice. And um, this is the lounge side, and the other side is a, is a sports bar. And they have got some mega stuff on show there. Come on, have a look at this. <sighs> Obviously, massive great screens and stuff, but. Some of the stuff we've got up in here, it's quite impressive. <laughs> so I'm Pele and George Best Tyo. So I'm Pele, Mike Tyson. We're going wrong way out, can't we? That's my bits on the, uh, on the bar. Pull table at the end. I like it, eh? Really friendly, decent boozer. Dead friendly in the Brook and Tile. Um, that's the furthest point I'm going to have to walk today. Nothing else as far as that walk was, and it really wasn't far. Uh, lovely people, lovely landlord and landlady. Landlord's a Man City fan, but don't hold that against him. He's a nice fella. Uh, I said the sporting memory B they've got in there is quite impressive, isn't it? I do quite like it. It's a nice place. Brings me to back towards town then. The Black Boy Inn. Lovely old school looking pub, that, isn't it? Can't go wrong with an old school pub look. I like it. Uh, stop 11 is this Black Boy Inn. Oh, so an old school pub inside. Three on the house. You know, it's pheasantry one again that I saw earlier. And some decent choices. On the taps, nice old school pub. This. It's got an old school pub feel to it. Like, I love that table. That table's immense. Great looking pub. Watch the support. I like it a lot. Proper old school in there. You can't say they, they don't have a Facebook page apparently. So that's why I can never find one. Um, hey, whatever works for them. Who am I to who am I to comment? I need to I need to re dye my beard tomorrow. I get rid of these greys. Right, uh, straight over the way from there is another new one. On the this one was shut down, all boarded up last time I was here. The Sherwood. Definitely reopens now. They commented saying they were open. Food pub, uh, as well as drinkers, welcome apparently. So I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like because I've never done it before. Uh, then we're going to head out to the Galway, Galway, whatever you want to call it. Come back up into the town. Uh, six to do. It's still light, man. I'm struggling with the fact that it's still light. Loving it and I haven't got wet today, but you know. Show it up next time. Uh, this is beautiful in here, to be honest. It's nice as it reopens because, I mean, obviously, I, I don't know what the, the space is, how long it's closed for or anything. Obviously, it's a nice, a nice, comfortable sort of bar area. Plenty of dining space up the side. Quirky bits. No hand pulls on. You've got some offerings on a thing. And then uh, is the ever changing food menu. Tapas tonight, steak night, pizza nights, all sorts of things. It's an ever changing food menu, which is really unique for a pub. It must really keep the chefs on their toes. I like something like that. It's different. Thinking outside the box. Good, good work. Please see the Sherman back open. Uh, they're doing really good smelling food. That tapas menu they've got on tonight <laughs> looks phenomenal. I'd be interested to see what food they do on the other nights and stuff. But yeah, it looks absolutely banging. So glad to see it open. Hate seeing a pub boarded up like it was last time we were here. So very nice to see them thriving and doing well. Five minutes around the outskirts then. This is the other furthest point on my quest of the day. As you can see, it's just starting to have dusk set in. Galway arm, this and then four more to do, and we're done. Doesn't feel like enough, does it? That's the way it is though. Galway arms, stop. 13. Proper mixing in here. Age ranges galore. Loads of screen fans watch with Darts fans going around the side, so I can't really film all around the side when they're playing darts, when it's kind of handfuls on. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, a, it's a friendly, it's, it's a local spot at the edge of the town. Friendly and welcoming people, staff are lovely, so the, the last on the bar was really lovely when I walked in. It is a, it's a really nice boozer. Goes all the way around, so square, sort of two bars, back and back and front. We've got this one, and then one on the other side. Um, goes all the way around the, the square bit. But, yeah. It, it's friendly, vibing, and building up for, obviously, a darts match night and the football on. Can't really go wrong with it, can it? Well off the walk down. Very friendly, as it was the first time we came here. I remember being really friendly the first time we came here as well. The landlady was lovely, um, the staff are lovely. Can't say, good, can't say enough good things about it, to be honest. I like it. Two minutes down the road um, is the next up, the Herbalist. But it's reminding me, Pizza Buchanan. I remember having a really, really, really wonderful uh, Donna wrap when I was here in Retford last time. So, you know, I might nip back to them in a minute. This, though, the Herbalist, this, is impressive as hell 
inside. Um, I'd almost forgotten how impressive this actually is until I, I did my Retford recall uh, yesterday and thought about where I was going today. And this, uh, I mean, I'll show you inside in a minute, but this is something, this is something quite remarkable. It is a, it's a belting looking pub, this pub, well, pub, bar, hotel type place. Phenomenal, you wait and see. This is what I was talking about, just look at this. They need tap choices. But look how beautiful this building is. Just look at this, like. Look how stunning a building it is as you go around. It's just absolutely beautiful. The lights, the light, everything's gorgeous about it. Look at this, like, can't wrong with it, can you? It is beautifully set out. It's got a lovely little garden area and stuff out there as well. And a restaurant space to the back. It's, yeah, it's just exquisitely decked out. And that's why I liked it last time. That's why I like it this time. It's brilliant. Let's give you a little bit more history while I'm in here. So I'm, I'm still here. I remember this from the last time I come. So the Herbalist, obviously a brief history. So I'm going to read it to you. During the 1870s, Madame Yak ran one of the few brothels in the Victorian industry. It was here. Victorian area, Nottinghamshire, catered exclusively to the many of the city's elite. I want to see his elite, aren't I? In a prominent businessman, politicians, at least one of the members of the House of Lords. Essentially, like long story short, this was a brothel. Years ago, upstairs the rooms were a brothel. So it was a hotel, part of this. It's now not, they've, they've sold the rooms on. Uh, someone else is now coming in to uh, rent the rooms out and stuff like that. But yeah, essentially, I am stood in what used to be one of the high society brothels in Nottinghamshire. And it hasn't changed a bit since the last time I was here. While I was doing that, Jess, who works it, she has just told me some, some other absolute truths about this place. Wow. Right, so, this, um, whatever you want to call it, up here on the, I'm not going to touch her because this is Molly. So this, uh, Molly uh, was, are you ready for this? Molly was the daughter of a, a former landlord. So when this was the White Hart coaching in, she got run over outside. Brought her into the, uh, into the old coaching in, took her upstairs to see if she was all right. She wasn't, she died. Uh, and they decided to place a, a death mask. Oh no. And rumour has it that anybody who touches this death mask now, bad things happen to them. Dale don't need no more bad things happen to Dale. Dale drinks. So Dale's not touching that. But that is a real life ghost story about the, the herbalist, about the old white heart that was here. Uh, also, apparently three little boys trapped in the cellar that are ghosts. It's getting a bit... Yeah, I'm, yeah I know, I know. Right, look up the ghost stories of the herbalist, the old white heart, the old coaching and stuff here. You can see them for yourself. Dale don't need to be venturing any closer to the spirit world, so he's done. Honestly, the amount of times I have people, I, I turn up at a place and they're like, oh, pub crawl. I thought there were loads of you coming. I'm like, no, it's just me. It must be such an anti climax for people. But they were lovely. See the, uh, the pub crawl, uh, crawl of fame photos tomorrow, you'll see. They were, they were lovely. Right, so I'm, I walk back across the square now, and I'm back at Beer Around the Clock. They didn't want me to come early because a member of staff here wanted a photo or something that I wanted to see, so beer on the clock. I've only got three to do. It is dark now and I'm getting drizzled on, so you knew it would happen at some point here. Yeah. But walk straight across the square again. Beer on the clock is where I am. We've got this, the vine, and a ye old sun in to do, and we're done. Happy day. It's been an easy day. It's been a lovely day. I really like Redford. Easily walkable. Good day. So it's no wonder this was probably my favourite pub in Retford the last time I came because the, the beer selection is second to none. It is honestly mint. Look at it. Plenty, plenty of choices on. Like, you know I love a good Lily's Ale, but I've gone for this. Diplomat from uh, Beer Mats Brewing Co. I've never, never really, I don't know anything about it. A black smooth stout with spicy chocolate notes. And believe me, it is, it is beautiful. But I did spy these in the fridge there. Yeah. They're those delirium, yeah. You know what I'm like with a delirium, but you only have to see. You have to see some of the uh, <laughs> so, some of the things that they've got. I think the, the pump clips alone, don't they? They tell a story of what they've had on in here over the time. Lovely staff, lovely people, lovely little place. Give us a wave. Pretend you're here. Yeah, give us a wave. Yeah. <laughs> just not. Sometimes it's just me gabbling around in the background of people when they're trying to get. But lovely. Look, look. You know how fresh the ciders and stuff are when I come out of the things as well. Look at it. Lovely. Lovely little place, this. One of my favourite microphones in the county, but a shadow of a doubt, and well worth coming to see in Redford. Love it. Absolutely lovely people. Uh, got a Crawl of Fame photos on. If you're not familiar with the Crawl of Fame, go on my Facebook page, uh, The Great Breach Pub Crawl. 
find the um, find the album called Crawl of Fame. So it's like Hall of Fame, but it's for people who I've met or had a drink with or have come up with a song of pub crawl. Crawl of Fame. You get it there? Yeah. I think it made sense. So Crawl of Fame photos. Had, had a few Crawl of Fame to add tonight, which is nice. Two pubs to go. I say I'm not, I've not really been rained on. It's been, it's been lovely. It's been, it's been all right. Um, I'm looking forward to the last. Penultimate one is the Vine Inn. Just there. So this is number 16 of the day, the Vine Inn. Big fun pub, late night fun pub is. Pulls out of the back, take the screens around and watch football and stuff. Bit of karaoke going on there at the front. I mean, you're never gonna, you're never set the world on fire with. It's not, a, it's not a real ale type pub. So they've got what they need. Everyone here, everyone is friendly. It's a really good thing. It's a, it's a, it's a late night vibe and a karaoke thing. It's not much, you can't really, you can't really go wrong with it. I don't dislike the vine. I like it. If I was staying here for a party, I'd be doing a bit of that karaoke. I've got one to do though. Moving on. The old, uh, the old Yates's building is that a makeover. So that there, that was Yates's wine lodge uh, in Redford. That definitely ain't reopened as a pub, is it? However, a couple of doors down is my last stop of the night. 17 for 17. And it's the Craft Union. It's the Craft Union booze of the town. Ye old sun in. I can hear a dog woofing away from somewhere. In there, look, he's up there, isn't he? He's up there in that, uh, that middle window. Look. Ye old sun is my last stop of the night. I think I've done all right. It's been, it's been easy, easy round. Uh, everything's walkable. It is a nice day out. Let's see Yeo sign in and get it done. I like it and I like it a lot because not only can you watch all the sport football on, so you got the uh, you got the Liverpool game on at this end. And you got the Man United game on on this bit. Plenty of good tap choices, stuff like that. Plenty of bottles in the fridges as well. Uh, I mean, I might drink those if they stay there much longer, but yeah. Bottles. But yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a beautiful old pub with plenty of history, but. It's got, it, they have they have live bands on at the weekend. They have a wealth of other stuff happening here. So they're always doing something to make it interesting. So, so it's not a sport pub, it's not a rock pub. It's a bit of everything to all people. And it's just it's just great. I mean, look at that. Look how low this is, like. Honestly, so that, that's where my head is. And that's how low it, that's how low that is. That is, uh, yeah, it's just, it's a beautiful old pub. And this is why this is called the old sun. And the one I started with was the sun. So anyway, I've gone full circle. I started with the sun in, I think the old sun in. I think I've done you a service today. We've done 17 pubs in Redford. I really like Redford. It's a great little town. You've got a wealth of, of, of different places you can go throughout the town. It's all been very walkable. I'm very happy. I'm back on my train in about half an hour. It's only a 20 minute walk, if that. So, well happy. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. Tomorrow off to Beeston. Uh, then Kidderminster on Saturday. But yeah, make sure you watch all the videos. Thanks so much for watching. Without you, we couldn't do this. Love you. Cheers guys. See you soon.